Last week, we introduced my two alligators for the very first time. It was nerve wracking to say the least. You may have noticed something different in the alligator house, perhaps on Chompers Beach, a new dock. So why did we install a new dock before the introduction? You'll find that out in this video. Plus, you'll get an update on the two lovebirds. Make sure to watch to the very end. I initially built wooden ramps for the alligators to help them get out of the pool because of the pool's steep sides. Sonny was always a little too big for his ramp. You know, being around 10 feet and weighing over 500 pounds, the man eventually broke it. He just tore that ramp off. It was always a pain trying to fix his ramp, especially when he decided to take a dip in the pool. Sonny. Well, my friend Matt's coming over to get a measurement for the new ramp. Remember, this isn't a zoo. Yeah, that's a problem. That's more of a uh, free-floating dock than a ramp. Chompers are female. No pictures. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> First step is to get measurements and watch out for an alligator. I might need a distractor. Hi, baby girl. I don't want you guys to get bit. It's not fun. If anything goes wrong, continue to film. Baby girl! Okay. How are you doing, Matt? Good? Oh, yeah. I'm distracting chompers so Matt can get the proper measurements. We're running out of meat. A different kind of pressure than I'm used to working under. My <laughs> client is a very large toothed animal. Hurry up, Matt. What's the safe word? Run. Come on up. Good. Open up. Boy. Oh, shoot. Now he's going towards Matt. Oh, come here. Come here. Tony. No, no, no. He's going to help us out. You got it? Matt and his buddy Andrew showed up with our first alligator ramp option. We got rid of the old wooden ramp, which had a brick attached to it so it wouldn't float. We then began to install the new ramp. Too hot in here for you? Yeah, it is 100. I don't open the windows. You know why? You need to keep the humidity up? Nope. Sonny, no. Sonny, no. Hey, hey, back up. Construction continued under the watchful eye of chompers. Just be careful, guys, of your hands. This is a hostile work environment here. A hundred percent. Andrew, just stand on top of it. Check the weight. Just be careful. Let's see if she'll go up it. The new ramp didn't touch the bottom of the pool, so I brought Chomper's old ramp back to help her out. Unfortunately, the first ramp just wasn't right, so we took it out. We need to build something much bigger. Once again, we had to work around the alligators and take out the wooden ramp for good. This is not gonna light the alligator house on fire. Since the alligator introduction was due to happen in a couple days, we were under a time crunch and worked late into the night. What made it even more difficult was there wasn't much working space in the alligator house. The ramp is made of stainless steel with composite decking. I know it's late, my man. The heavy duty material made it extremely heavy, so we had to attach ropes to actually help us install it in the pool. The goal for the new alligator dock was to give the alligators a slope so they could easily get in and out of the pool. 1.24 in the morning. Okay, Sonny! Good boy. Open up. I didn't know if this new ramp would freak her out or not, but let's try it out. Chompers! Chompers wasn't having it. We have our brand new docks. I'm so excited. We've never gone down the ramp or tested the weight. Well, the sure. both of you together are still way less than Sonny. This is deep. Sonny's... Sonny's not the athlete in the group. I don't know if he's gonna make it up this thing. Steep and slippery. Ah! Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Okay. Just pretend to be Sonny. Go up. No, you can't hold on to the crates. Go You're gonna try to push your way up. Oh. Danny, you're stronger than yeah, I Yeah, if it was like that, like that, that's way better. We'll just have to figure out how to do that and get Matt in here and get a lovely bill from him, but that should be fine. <laughs> Isn't it nice we still have the barrier, though? It is all the way down, right? Oh, God, is it? Oh, it's not all the way down. There's a gap. Three, two, one. It's not going down. Oh, it's scary at this level, right? It's scary being on eye level with them. Oh, that water's so warm. Yeah, sure, jump in. Nope. Come on, Savannah. Nope. Show us your luscious locks in the pool. <laughs> so cute. Mary had a big night last night. Come get some nourishment. <laughs> He's going 
Look at the two alligators back there. They're getting along great. Big love to Corbin Maxi. <laughs> did you like Idaho, honestly? I really did. Way different than we expect. Please. Woo! Oh, oh my God. <laughs> Is this shirt too tight? I just need to know. The icing on the cake before you guys leave. It's time to let Sonny and Chompers have full access to the pool. We don't have plans of closing this gate. Now the alligators have full access to the pool. I would dig like a little teeny secondary pool. It doesn't have to be deep. It doesn't have to be huge. Just like a little puddle. You can do a pond liner if you want to hold the water. Just Maybe. a water hole. Just Here's a big man. Yeah. Future plans of an outdoor pool. We caught Sonny on camera checking out the ramp for the very first time. And soon after, he was joined with his girlfriend Chompers. Look at the two love birds. They are inseparable. I don't plan to breed Sonny and Chompers and incubate the eggs. American alligators are doing fine out in the wild conservation wise. And honestly, if I had a bunch of alligators, there would be nowhere for the babies to go. And even though we're approaching alligator breeding season, who knows if Chompers will even lay eggs. We're gonna take it one step at a time and just enjoy the fact that the two alligators are finally together. One thing's for sure, they wanna keep their new love secret Every time we walk in, they break up and scatter. Where's your girlfriend at, Sonny? The next step for the alligator house is to raise the ramp like our friends at Gatorland suggested and to also add gripping to the ramp so the alligators don't slip like chompers here. The reason why we wanted this ramp in here before the alligator introduction was so Chompers had a place to get away from Sonny. Girls need their alone time, so Sonny's patiently waiting on a woman. The new deck also provides Sonny a place to rest. Everyone's doing okay, Napoleon. Oh my gosh. Oh boy. Look, we have little tilapia. Or mosquitoes. Nope, those are tilapia. I bet that's the parent. That's the mom for sure. Napoleon, this is like the best news we've had since we introduced the alligators. The cherry on top of the cake. A new generation of fish in the alligator habitat. This is amazing. Ah! And if you're wondering, Chompers did finally come up from under the deck and Sonny still enjoys hanging out on his side of his pool as well. Since Sonny wasn't with Chompers, I decided to touch him on top of the head, a behavior Danny taught me how to do. Remember, don't ever do this with an alligator. I'm a trained professional. Even though the dock is a little too slippery for the alligators, they can still get out of the pool. Take a look at Chompers on Sonny's side. Look at her sunning herself on Sonny's beach. She even decided to climb on top of Sonny to reach the sun. And take a look, Sonny doesn't even care. He absolutely loves his lady. Thank you so much for watching. If you like, hit that subscribe button. And until next time, boom! Hold on, let me get you to do it. <laughs> boom! Boom! boom.